Magandang araw mga kababayan. Once again, welcome to our channel. Now, on our previous videos, we have discussed how to make SOP or Statement of Purpose for the main student applicant. Now, for this particular video, we will be discussing how to make the letter of intent for open work permit or yung dependent spouse or common law partner ng main student applicant. Now for this video, I will be discussing the essential parts that should be included in making your letter of intent for OWP. And also, I will be discussing the necessary documents required for your OWP or Open Work Permit application. And again, just a disclaimer, hindi po kami professional immigration consultant. This is all based on again, personal research and again, experience namin in doing our own application. Now, gusto ko rin magpasalamat sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa journey namin ito. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please do consider subscribing on our channel. This will be a great help for us as we start this journey to Canada. And again, for us to help and reach more Canada dreamers like us. So, kung interesado ka to know more about OWP or Open Work Permit application, panoorin mo ang video na to. Now, ano nga bang tinatawag na Letter of Intent or LOI for Open Work Permit Application? Now, just like doing the SOP or Statement of Purpose ng main student applicant, the Letter of Intent for Open Work Permit would play an integral part for the visa officer to consider and determine the approval or refusal of your application as a dependent of the main applicant. This is also a formal letter for the visa officer know or assess your intentions or your reasons why you are applying for a visa to travel to Canada with your partner. Now, kung sa student visa applicant, kailangan establish yung reasons bakit kailangan o gustong mag-aral sa Canada. For the letter of intent for open work permit, kailangan mong i-justify bakit kailangan mong samahan yung asawa mo habang nag-aaral siya sa Canada. And since this is an online application as well, just like for SOP ng student applicant, this is the only way as well to address the possible questions or to justify the possible red flags na pwede maging cause or reason ng refusal ng application natin. As for your introduction, you need to introduce briefly yourself along with your spouse and your children. Now, along with that, you need to mention na accepted na yung wife mo to be a full-time student and then provide the details ng school, ng program, as well as the intake and the start of the program itself. And briefly state your primary reason why you are applying for a visa, which is to accompany your wife or your husband to travel to Canada. Next part is you need to discuss your love story. In this part, you need to establish na genuine yung relationship nyo together with your spouse. This is a very important part for the visa officer to justify your relationship with your spouse, especially kung wala pa kayong anak or you just recently got married. You may briefly discuss kung kailang kayo nagkita, kung saan kayo nagkita, kung kailang kayo nag-decide to live together or to get married. It would be up to you kung paano nyo gagawing mas appealing yung kwento, pero kapanipaniwala, you might want to have it uh, sweet, but of course, truthful, simple, and short as well. Sa mga bagong kasal or sa mga common law partner na hindi pa kasal, you might want to provide additional proof that you have a genuine relationship. Now for this, you may provide pictures together along with your family or your in-laws. You may also add a authorized affidavit of cohabitation or any statement of accounts or bills that will show your name and your partner together. Or you can also include the screenshots ng post nyo sa social media together or even text or chat exchange messages nyo together. Next, you need to discuss why is it important for you and your family to be together in Canada. In this section, you might want to mention that you want to be her primary source of strength physically and emotionally along with your kids if you have while she's studying in Canada. You may also mention that you want to support your spouse all throughout her or his study period and that to experience and also to celebrate things together as your spouse pursue further studies that is going to be an essential factor for your spouse to establish her or his plan of career advancement and getting higher paying jobs and going back to the Philippines. 
Now, for family application, you might want to mention that it would be necessary for you and your spouse to be physically present together to establish and to raise your children's well-being. Also, on this part, avoid mentioning that mag apply ka ng trabaho sa Canada. Instead, give more emphasis on the support that you could provide to your spouse while she or he is studying in Canada. Next, you need to discuss your education and your employment history. Now, in this section, you may briefly discuss your highest educational attainment and the work experiences that you have. You might want to mention the knowledge or the skills that you already gained over the years and how you can contribute to the community while you will be staying in Canada. Again, you don't need to give emphasis that you will be finding a job in Canada. Nevertheless, you may mention that given the chance, you would want to take the opportunity to contribute your time, your knowledge, and skills to Canada's labor market as well. Next, you need to discuss your proof of financial capability or financial support. Now, just like for student visa application, as a dependent, for open work permit application, isa rin to sa pinaka-importanteng component ng application mo. You also need to prove that you are financially capable or financially ready para sa pathway na to, together with your family, especially for the cost of living. Otherwise, it may be a cost for your application to be refused as well. And again, as per IRCC, for minimum funds requirement, for the spouse or common law partner or your open work permit applicant, you should have at least 4,000 Canadian dollar as a minimum requirement, which is on top of the minimum funds required of the main student visa applicant. Again, sa part na to, kailangan yung emphasize na kakayanin nyo yung gasto sa Canada or kakayanin ng sponsor nyo to support you in Canada. Next, you also need to discuss your travel history, especially if you have traveled abroad, either nagtrabaho ka or simply namasyal ka lang sa ibang bansa. You may mention na hindi ka nag-overstay sa mga bansa na yon. Otherwise, if there will be cases ng overstaying, you might need to explain further bakit nangyari yon. Next, you need to discuss your home ties. Just like the application for student visa as a dependent, again, for open work permit, you also need to establish your home ties in order for you to give emphasis na babalik kayo ng Pilipinas after mag-aral na spouse or the main student visa applicant. For your home ties, same thing with student visa applicant, you may include your parents, your siblings, and also your properties like yung house and lot, yung koche, or even business if you have. Or you can also include your government contributions like pag-ibig, SSS, and even feel health, and also insurance if meron ka. It is very important for you to establish the home ties, especially nag apply ka rin as a dependent ng student visa applicant. Also, if you have children with your application, kasi baka isipin ni visa officer hindi na kayo babalik buong pamilya since your application will include the whole family. Next, you also need to discuss your future plans. Just like your main student visa applicant as an open work permit applicant, you also need to establish a strong future plans just to emphasize more na babalik kayo ng Pilipinas after mag-aral ni main applicant. Now for this, you may mention the possible jobs that might still be available para sa'yo pagbalik mo ng Pilipinas. And if you can secure a letter of recommendation from your current employer na i-hire ka nila pagbalik mo ng Pilipinas, mas maganda. Also, if you have business, it might be a strong point na may babalikang ka pa or may ipagpapatuli ka pang business pagbalik niyo ng Pilipinas. And lastly, you may have the declaration. And for this, you may simply state that you are fully aware of the Canadian immigration and regulations and that you will never be a burden to Canada and that you will leave Canada at the end of your permitted stay. Now, let me provide you the requirements or the documents that we have submitted when we did the open work permit application as well. Now, along with the letter of intent that we made, we have submitted the letter of acceptance or LOA ng main student applicant. Also, we have included the information sheet ng medical since we did the upfront medical. Also, we have submitted the personal documents such as the uh, passport, birth certificate, marriage certificate, and also the NBI clearance. Also, we have submitted the educational documents such as the uh, college uh, TOR or transcript of records and also the college diploma of the uh, OWP applicant. 
Now, for the employment documents, we have uh, submitted curriculum vitae and also the uh, certificate of employments from the various companies that the OWP work for, along with the ITR and pay slips. Funds, since we did the family application, pareho lang yung document na sinabit namin for the main applicant along with the other family members, such as yung bank certificates, to show our total available funds. For home ties, same documents then yung ginamit namin for the main applicant along with the other family members included with our application. So yung contract to sell ng house and lot, yung ORCR ng koche, along with our DTI business registration certificate, and also our family photos. Now, for common law partners, you might need to submit additional documents as a proof of your genuine relationship. This may include but not limited to a notarized affidavit of a cohabitation. Also, you can include billing statements or credit card statements that will show your names together. And also to show that you're living together, you might provide proof of residence as well. You may want to provide as well some photos or uh, screenshots of your family or your travels together or any other legal document that will strengthen your genuine relationship. Now, in addition, for those who will be having those sponsors, you need to provide those affidavit of support along with their COE and also payslip and ITR of your sponsors. Now, if you will be having questions or any additional information regarding the uh, open work permit application, please comment down below. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button para updated ka sa susunod na video. Hanggang dito na lang, hanggang sa muli. Thank you for watching!